So today I'm going to be doing an autumn homeware haul which I am so excited about. Autumn is my favourite season. I absolutely love decorating and just like the cosy vibes. Um, I've also got a cup of tea in my Emma Bridgewater mug um, and I'm just going to go through everything that I've bought recently. Um, I actually think I did pretty well waiting until now to buy these things because autumn and Halloween stuff has been out in shops since like the beginning of August which is a little bit too early for me um so everything I've picked up recently so hopefully if you see anything that you like it would still be available now and um, it was also my birthday a few days ago so anything autumnal that I got from my mom um, and James I will show you that as well um, so yeah, I'm just going to get into it. I've got everything laid out on the desk, which is from TK Maxx and Home Bargains. I'm going to do those shops first. I've also got some bits from b and um, I think I've got one thing from Primark. Um, I've got some stuff from Matalan. But anything that I have, if I know where it was from or how much it was, I will let you know. Starting off with candles from TK Maxx. So this is the DW Home Vanilla Pumpkin Candle. I really like the packaging of this one. That It's got like a little gold pumpkin on the top um, and a wooden lid so I think I might have this one in the kitchen now as much as I love autumn I don't really like the scent of pumpkin unless it's got something sweet with it um, or as long as there's something else within that um, scent. So this is vanilla pumpkin, so I do really like the scent of this one. So this was £7.99 and DW Home is one of my favourite brands of candles. So I really like that one. Um, I then picked up this one, which is obviously very, very autumnal because it's orange and it's got a really pretty gold lid with some pumpkins on there. Um, this is Sand and Fog Harvest Wreath. So again, autumnal but it's not like too strong um this one was £10.99 it is quite a big one and obviously as you can see there is a three wick candle um I think the rest of the candles I got from TK Maxx are Sand and Fog which is a brand that I have tried before as well another Sand and Fog one which as you can see has a teal jar which I really really like teal is one of my favorite colors and I do have like a teal wall in the bedroom the living room and the downstairs toilets so this is a candle that I could use in multiple rooms because it's going to go with the theme of the room um, and this one is pumpkin wood so again pumpkin -y, but not too strong and again it's got a wooden lid which says hello pumpkin which I think is really cute because once you've finished obviously the candle you could use the jar for something else um, or you could even just use that like wooden lid as a bit of decoration or as like a coaster for your cups and things um, and that one was £8.99 and then this one again sand and fog this one is pumpkin harvest um obviously I have to smell them as I show you so this one is a really pretty kind of pastely sage green I would say so I got this one for the kitchen because that matches the colour scheme in the kitchen um, and this one has kind of like a gold lid with a brown leather top and um, with a pumpkin little etched in there so that's that one and that was £8.99 as well. I also picked up this little one which is a blush pink colour um, and on the top it says hey boo and it's got a little go so I thought that was really cute. Um, so that one is £3.49 and I actually got this for the bedroom to match these two items that I got here. So in the bedroom we've got like a teal, mustard yellow and blush pink scheme. And I saw these, obviously these aren't autumn themed, but I'll show you anyway, um, just because obviously I picked them up when I was getting everything else. Um, so they are Ray Dunn jars, um, so they have Ray Dunn on the top on a little wooden lid. And this one, it says clean, and it's just got some little cotton rounds in, which I thought was quite useful because I needed cotton rounds anyway. Um, but I don't actually have anything to put them in, so I thought this little jar of them was really cute. And obviously it does say clean in the Ray Dunn font um, on a little sticker and that was £6.99 so I'm going to keep that on my little dressing table in the bedroom and then I saw this one which matched obviously like the labels are really similar and um, this one says wake up and make up and it was already filled with some pink beauty blenders so again I thought it was really handy because I'll use what's in there but the jar itself is really nice and um, this was £12.99 and it says Ray Dunn on the actual jar as well so I thought they would look really cute on my little dressing table and as I said I thought I would get that little um, pink candle just to go um, with those on there and then it just adds a little pop of um, Halloween-ness to the dressing table so I got those. Um, James picked this one up um, so 
I absolutely love warm drinks. Like I love a cup of tea, I love a cup of coffee in my little autumn mugs. However, when it comes to flavouring, I'm really picky. So I've recently tried the maple hot chocolate at Costa, which I really liked. But I don't like pumpkin spice latte and I don't like anything that's just too strong. Um, so I do think I would like this though, but James picked it and he's already tried it. So he'll probably have the majority of this, but I will give it a go. So this is the salted caramel skinny syrup. So it's zero calories, zero sugar. So I'm not entirely sure how it actually tastes as it does um but yeah so james picked that up they always have a really good selection of these actually in tk maxx and that was four pound 49 so i'm excited to at least try that because i do like caramel he doesn't actually like caramel that much and he likes it so um and then the last thing i think from tk maxx um i got this little hotty hot water bottle so it's obviously one that you put in the microwave um and it's a little fox i've already took it out the box because i've been using it the last few days because i've been ill and i've had a toothache so i've been literally sat on the sofa like this um so i thought this was really cute especially with prices of gas and electric going up gonna need your hot water bottle so so yeah i got this um my friend christy got me a penguin last year so i'm gonna get that out for christmas and winter but for autumn um i thought i would get this little fox and this was 9.99 so yeah just really cute and obviously you just pop it in the microwave to warm it up so moving on to home bargains now you may be able to hear macy which is my little puppy if you didn't know um crying downstairs because she's in her crate having a nap and i was obviously just about to do the home bargain section of the video and i forgot the bloody mug so i had to go downstairs and i crept down so quietly but when i picked it up off the table i could just see her little eyes peeking through um because we've got like a blanket over it just a little gap at the bottom and now she's crying so um never mind so you might be able to hear her but um i shall settle down so as you can probably tell i absolutely love mugs like i just love having a cup of tea in my seasonal mugs um and there was also an orange pumpkin one but i've got a couple of pumpkin slash orangey themed mugs anyway but i don't actually have anything like this one so you know i had to justify it um but it's just a really nice simple white pumpkin mug and i believe this was like two pound something so it wasn't expensive at all and i just think that would look so cute with a little hot chocolate in so i got that mug i then chose three pumpkins and they are all different so we've got this one here which is matte white and gold and it's really smooth as well so i really liked this one maybe for the kitchen because most of the kitchen is kind of like white and we've got like a brushed gold metal um handles and like lampshade so i thought that would go really nice um i believe the pumpkins were like five pounds something that was really good considering the size of them and the quality to be honest so this was the first one i then obviously had to pick the orange one up um which i really like obviously it's got like a split design so we've got the um shiny orange and then this is like a really nice textured pot look um, and a shiny gold stem so I really really like that one I like that they are different shapes as well and then the last pumpkin um it says boo um I really like cute Halloween I'm not into scary Halloween so this to me was very very cute um so it's obviously black with a white font and then a gold stem and again a different shape so I'm probably going to have this one in the living room because we've got a bit of black in there and maybe with this one as well because we do have orange in the living room too so I just thought that would go really, really nice. And then I also picked up a couple of pet toys. And um, so I got these um, ones here for the cats. So we've got like a little bell that obviously makes a noise and a little cat, which I assume might have catnip in. And then it's got some little tassels hanging off. So I got those for Miley and Ruby. And then for Maisie, we picked this one, which is obviously like a little cat and it's just a rope toy. And she will love that because she loves pulling things and chewing things at the minute um of course and they were just like a couple of pound each so i thought they were really nice and probably won't actually last that long anyway so i definitely want to keep the costs low and then i also just picked up the um little pre-mark item as well because i only got one thing from pre-mark that was autumn themed um, which is this really cute little pot pumpkin it's white with a gold stem so I thought this would go really nice with the other one in the kitchen 
um, so I thought that was really really cute and yeah £2.50 which I didn't think was too bad. And I did have some other pumpkins as well there was like a really nice kind of um, olive green pumpkin that I kind of wish I got but I do have to restrain myself because otherwise I would just go overboard and obviously we only moved into this house two years ago so you have to slowly gradually build up the collection don't you so I didn't want to go too overboard just yet so moving on to what I got for my birthday so starting off with something that James got me how cute is that I just love as I said cute Halloween um which to me that definitely is so it's just obviously a little kind of um vampire cat and it's one of those that changes I don't really like this side of it so I'm probably just going to keep it as the cat that's a witch I mean it's still cute but I prefer the cat so I'm going to keep it this way out. I've actually got my little octopus one there can you see? It's got the sad face because it's orange so it fits in with the theme but I'm not sad today. <laughs> so yeah just um, that really cute little cat toy which Macy's already tried to eat and then this is something that James's mum got me which I thought was really cute so again this is a cute Halloween and it's just a little witch cat ornament how cute is that it does obviously remind me of ruby because it's a black cat so she got me that don't know how much those were because obviously they were the gift so then something that jess picked me was this really cute little candlestick holder um which is obviously like a really pretty kind of um see-through brown color not very good at describing these am I? i'm not gonna lie i don't know where this is from not sure but i thought that was really cute and go with it they got me these little candlesticks which are in a beige color and um, again i can't tell you how much these things were because they were presents i'm gonna get one out just to show you what it looks like these candlestick holders are really popular at the minute anyway quite trendy and um, so it doesn't have to just be for autumn and to be honest this would go with the new theme that I've got for the bathroom, which you will see in a bit, um, because I've got a lot of stuff from B&M, which I'm going to show you as well. Um, so I think that'll look really pretty in the bathroom. They then also got me this really cute little pumpkin. I think this was from Asda. I do believe I've got a black and a black and white one to match. So that's just a white one with a gold stem. And then my mum got me this from The Range how cute is this little guy um i know people go mad for these at like christmas time and i actually do not have one um are they called gonks i mean it's like a norm isn't it yeah it's a gonk it's an led gonk and his little nose lights up how cute is that i think this is gonna look amazing on my little um i've got like a new unit in the living room i definitely need to do like an updated house too because i've changed quite a lot of stuff um but yeah i've got this um quite large shelf tv unit don't know how to describe it um but he's gonna look perfect sat on there with his little legs hanging so they got me that from the rain i'm gonna turn it off save the battery um they also got me this little plant which obviously isn't very autumnal specific um but i still wanted to show you it and again i think this would actually go really nice in the bathroom when we've done that out um this was from matalan um so it's a really i just caught my hair with a the leaves and it is one that looks actually quite realistic um, and it's got a really nice beige and kind of creamy coloured leaf pattern print on the pot this is something that Jess picked me and it's a little kind of flower shaped clip but it's brown and black which I really like so I have already actually worn that so very autumnal which will go with my autumnal outfits something that my grandma got me and um, so again not specifically autumnal but it's a little black giraffe which I really like. I think that'll go really nice in the living room. And that was from Next. And it's got a little candle in it. Another couple of candles. We've got this one here from the range, which is amber wood scented, which I really like actually. And I like that it's in an amber coloured glass jar. This one was from Next. And I absolutely love the pattern of this jar. I think this will look really nice um, in the downstairs toilet maybe. And it says, let's go to the sea. So I believe it's kind of like a sea salt or something yeah sea salt scented candle so i really like that one a couple of things from matalan so this one i'll show you in a second that's something i bought myself but it matches this blanket that my mum and jess picked for me um so it's like a pumpkin print so we've got green orange and white pumpkins on kind of like a 
brownie beige um, blanket. So that is really cute. I might keep this in the office um, just for whenever I'm, you know, putting stickers in my planner or playing Sims. I've got a nice little cosy blanket. So I thought that was cute. And then this is the towel that I purchased um, a couple of weeks ago, actually, myself. Um, so on the inside, it's got this pattern. So again, those same colours, these little threads are because Macy managed to get it. Um, and then on the other side, the same kind of pattern as obviously the blanket. Um, so I thought that was really cute. It's just like a hand towel size, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, hand towel. So that was £5. Um, and I think I'm going to have this in the downstairs toilet because I never really have a lot of stuff for the bathrooms for like autumn so I thought that would be cute um because I do have little like Christmas towels for when it gets to Christmas for in there and then this is something that I think Jess picked for me and it is just a little candle duo I think it's from the range so we've got pomegranate and clementine and orange and star something I can't pronounce that so we've got a red and an orange one so I can't wait to get them out and start burning them because lighting candles in autumn is like on another level just like having a candle lit and watching like a film and the blanket on the sofa like oh, just can't wait and then we've got a little reed diffuser which i believe is from asda um and it is uh white mint and eucalyptus have i said that right i don't know um but yeah again a really pretty like brown amber kind of jar um so again very nice for autumn but once autumn is over um i'll probably pop it in the bathroom because it's going to go with my new little theme in there the last thing um that i'm going to show you from what i got for my birthday is this little snuddy from Primark. so it's cream with a little cherry pattern james got one for his birthday he got like a marvel one um, and i really like the pattern of this one um so you know got this got my little hot water bottle i won't even need to put the heating on this year um it's very very warm and cool Cozy. Macy likes to bite it which is a bit annoying um, and then on the inside it's like a fleece material so this will definitely keep me warm and these are quite cheap as well like obviously it's not the original like Udi it's a snuddy from Primark um, but yeah I just thought that was really nice um, and I might actually get James another one for Christmas and um, so he's got like one to change into if one's in the wash it's just got really sunny again there um so last but not least we've got b&m and i didn't actually get a lot of autumn stuff from b&m but i still wanted to show you everything i got which is mostly stuff for the bathroom so i just really wanted to change in the bathroom we've got like a bit of a green color scheme going on at the minute and um, which i've just really went off um, and as you will see everything will make sense in a minute but i firstly got these little pumpkins and this is kind of what inspired the rest of the purchases and um, so the first one is kind of like a really pretty white creamy color and it's speckled um, and this one was five pound and then the other one I got is like a really nice kind of beige brown colour. Again, speckled. This one was £3, so it's a little bit smaller. And when I saw them together, I thought, I actually really like those colours, maybe for the bathroom. Um, so I thought about putting them on my bath board. And then I also went down the bathroom aisle and just happened to pick up a load of stuff. So um, this is kind of the next thing that I got because I thought that matched the little pumpkin so this is the bath mat it's like a diamond print pattern and um, so you can see there and it was nine pound and it's got these little tassels as well so this just looks like something look at all the fluff coming off it though i'm gonna <laughs> breathe all that in looks like the kind of thing that would just be nice to step on after you've been in the bath or shower um, and i think definitely going for a neutral theme is gonna make it feel more relaxing and calm and like spa like as well um, so as I said, the rest of the house is like very colourful, like we've got a lot of um, colours everywhere. So in a room that's quite neutral, um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to. Um, and I do have things dotted around the house that would look a lot better in a room that's more neutral themed, if that makes sense. Like, there's a lot of like ornaments and things in the bedroom that I originally got when everything was like white and brown. But now that we've got all the colour in the bedroom, it doesn't really go. So I'm looking forward to transferring all to the bathroom, basically. I feel like the cats all really love to play with them tassels, so we'll see how long that lasts. Um, so yeah, a really pretty bath mat there. I've got two bath sheets, which are cream and white. Um, I did want some in the same colour as a bath mat, but they didn't have any, so I might have to have a little look online. 
and so I got two of those and they were $9.99 each very thrilling I also got a new toilet brush and um, so I just really like this pot so it's obviously like kind of like speckled and just really nice and um, neutral and cream and this was seven pound and I got the matching um little like tumbler which I'll obviously put the toothbrushes in and the toothpaste and that was two pound fifty which I thought was really nice and obviously that just really matches the neutral theme they didn't have a matching soap dish which was a bit annoying um but I did see this which is from the same like natural home collection this was two pound and it's just like a little wooden dish and I thought that was quite nice anyway because we do have um like a little cabinet below and above the sink which is grey um, and it does have like an oak wood top and um, so I thought that would match anyway and that obviously you can just have my little soap on I just had to shut the curtain there because the sun was literally glaring in my face but that is my autumn homeware haul done See a little bit random at the end but i just thought it did fit in obviously with the pumpkins that i got and um, so i plan on sorting out the bathroom this week and um, so i might put some pictures on my instagram i'm gonna plan on decorating the house today for autumn and halloween got james to get everything out the attic this morning so i just threw everything behind me just for the background so um this probably isn't going to be how it stays but i'm going to obviously go around the house and kind of see where i want to put everything and the new stuff that i got as well and um, so i'm really excited to do that because i just love how the house looks when it's decorated my throat is honestly so dry i've been really ill this week um but today i really wanted to sit down and film the video so i feel like the tablets are wearing off now because my throat hurts so bad um, and my nose feels a bit blocked so looking forward to ending the video i'm not gonna lie um i'm also just definitely not used to talking to the camera anymore like this feels so weird because i've really not made any videos this year um, I plan on doing kind of like a sit down chatty video at some point because um, I've had a few questions about YouTube and body shop and things like that so I'll probably do that um, over the next couple of months but I am going to be filming videos again I think um, just every now and again nothing major so going on a holiday next week and um, so it feels really weird because we're going to Spain so I'm going on like a summer beach holiday in October so that feels weird right now because I'm like in the mood for autumn and I've got all my like autumn and um, clothing in the wardrobe now and yet I'm still buying swimsuits and sun cream it feels really weird um I'm really looking forward to that I was gonna actually vlog it because um I just regret not um putting videos together of previous holidays and looking back on them I just think it's going to be too much pressure and I want to really enjoy it because it's going to be the first holiday that I've been on since Covid so I might just do some kind of like TikToks or Reels or Instagram pictures things like that instead um but yeah I'm gonna go um thank you for watching if you have if you've watched until this point that is dedication because I feel like I've just rambled and yeah but anyway i said i will be posting videos again and um, probably just one a week or something like that like nothing major definitely not going to do vlogmas this year because last year was intense do as i said like a little chatty video at some point so if you've got any questions just leave them in the comments and i will see you in my next video